This Charlton County furniture store, a total loss, forcing a family to start over. They tell us the building was struck by lightning and went up in flames. This new video shows the fire and heavy smoke last night, moments before firefighters arrived at the Badcock Home Furniture Store in Folkestone. As News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding tells us, the family is grateful everyone is safe. This is told News for Jax. It took just seconds for the fire and flames to spread throughout the Badcock Home Furniture Store. Betty McCall and her family bought the business in 1988. The inside is now gutted and everything is destroyed. It's hard. That's all I can say. Having a fire of this destitution is, is like having a death in the family. McCall says she and her husband were at church when they were notified. In all, it took crews from at least three fire departments and more than a dozen trucks to get it under control. McCall says the couple once lived in an apartment inside the building but moved out four years ago. It was all in the Lord's hands and he had a game plan when we bought our house. So, you know, it's almost like, well, maybe he knew this was coming up in the future, you know, and he moved us out. <laughs> And looking from this angle, you can see where the furniture store is in reference to this El Cheapo gas station. I spoke to the owner inside. They were there and heard that lightning strike. Their first thought was, oh my gosh, the fuel pumps are right there. Rick and Patel's store was filled with customers when they heard the lightning strike. When we went out to look at it, it was so bad that we just locked the door and took off. And by the time we pulled off, that flame from the back of the building had went to the front in less than a minute. With just those seconds to get to safety, Patel's son took this cell phone video showing how intense the flames were. Even with insurance, the McCalls say starting over will take time. They're leaning on their faith to make it through. In Charlton County, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.